Hello and welcome to this episode for Bidden Off Road. This week we are going to be checking out the Pacific Northwest Overland Expo with a couple of good friends. Uh, we've driven down from Vancouver Island to British Columbia and we're going to be walking around the venue and checking out all the booths and seeing what this event really is all about and whether it's worth coming down here for the average person. Right, guys we just showed up at the overland expo check-in desk we got all the rigs behind us and we got our passes we are ready to roll into the gates together Flying everywhere. Oh, we're overlanding now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone's on it right, right off. With Mark, <laughs> right, right perfect. His snap ripped right off. I'm waiting for this to break so I can buy a new one. Yes, Gretchen. It's going to happen. There we go. I love how you're just carrying around a bunch of meat. <laughs> My life, man. I'm not normally doing that. Hey, even, even if I'm not holding a bag, I'm carrying around a bunch of meat, buddy. <laughs> You just want to start your truck again. You're right. <laughs> Clear six feet. I can Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Whatever you have. Yeah. Hi. Your vehicle, right? yeah, exactly. So our good friend from Metal Cloak, who you might know as Metal Cloak Mike, is just showing up with his jail, and he's <laughs> His tent is open still and he's just driving around. He's coming to join us. We got everybody kind of nice in that area. We're going to put out a big uh, EPF as well. I got my butt here. Oh, if you don't know who Metal Cloak Mike is, you need to go on Instagram, follow him, Metal Cloak Mike. Um, he's one of the creators. Uh, managers uh, for Metal Cloak. And he does all the social media and whatnot as well, which is pretty rad. So go check him out. So we we're with our good friend Metal Cloak Mike here, and we we're walking through the expo on the first morning. This is the Friday, and we're going to see if we can find our good friend Ryan. We're having fun. Woohoo! <laughs> um, we're gonna go see if we can find Ryan, uh, Ryan Utah that is, and have a look at his new, his new tent business. He's uh, slanging tents these days. So we go say hi to him and see who else we can find. We are over here at the Epic Adventure Outfitters booth. Um, you got Sean from the story till now here as well and Epic Adventure Outfitters just released a brand new um, product um, which they're dubbing the Crow and uh, yeah let's let's go take a look at it they've got one mounted up in the uh, one of their rigs at the moment and essentially it's a brand new um, molly panel for above your um, driver's situation here and it's super high clearance and you got all your little gadgets attached to it 
instead of having them down here on the dash, which obstructs, could obstruct your vision, there's a brand new Molly panel design up here and it's got all the gadgets attached to it. And yeah, it's freaking cool. Um, this product is live on their website right now, so head on over to the Epic Adventure Outfitters website and check it out. Good to see you. Jack and Heather. Yeah. What's up, hey, dude? Man, how's it going, dude? Good, man. Hi. Yeah, you as well. Hi, Have you guys walked around much? No, Just came not here. Really. Oh. We, we went that way to come find you. Yeah. I was checking out the tent yesterday, man. That looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I we like that. Two of them over there. Great. We have two. Yeah, we saw, dude. Yeah. Looks good. And it, like the little porch idea, mm -hmm. it's kind of like you can sit and like literally fish. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's so cool. Yeah, I like we that. We have a yeah. new idea here with a hanging yeah. chair. Oh, what? Yeah. Let's go take a look at. Roof space's new uh, new tent set up here. They've got it set up on a raptor. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Yeah. Look at this. That's that is. I'm gonna take my chair and I'm gonna hang it in that one. <laughs> so if you see that, there's a chair hanging off the roof top tent. Name another rooftop tent manufacturer where you could literally just hang off it. That's that's the coolest thing ever. So these tents are designed in Germany um, and they're brought over to uh, this side of the, the planet and we've got two of them over in our campsite guys that are trying them out and they are, they seem really cool. You can see there's like a, you can set them up like a porch um, where they're not fully enclosed all the time. Um, yeah, really, really cool tent. So if you get a sec, go over and check out Root Space and um, I'll put a link in the description uh, below to them if you want to you can head down there and click the link there's no affiliation or anything like that but uh, Ryan's a buddy of mine so uh, yeah go check those guys out more flake Jeep looks pretty sick these days fully cloaked out lots of gold on this rig Got the metal cloak full long arm kit on it very nice Okay, it looks like we got, I've never seen this in person. So, um, Robbie Layton Nation built this bus for the Onyx Off-Road. Um, guys, and it is, it's so cool. This thing was basically converted over um, to four-wheel drive. And I believe- There's the bus right there. Colt builds it, um, came up to Robbie Layton and did all the work on the axles. And then Robbie Layton uh, and his crew built the bus up for the Onyx Off-Road um, guys and it's super cool to see it in person. Coilovers on a, on a bus. <laughs> I love that. Well, Key and Tires let me go up to the top of their trailer, get a better vantage point up here for you. You guys can really get a get a view and see how big this. Hey. Oh hey! And there's more. This isn't all of it. it. It goes way over there and way over there, as you can see. First look at the new Land Cruiser. Pretty cool. I know you need a shot. Oh, Nitto tires. So over here at the deck booth, this is their new deck system. It's a one piece top on it. And I just noticed they got this cool little kick plate on here with these awesome features. Like they got bolt sizings along here, big ruler, both in metric and imperial. And then they've got like, they've got like conversions of stuff. That's so cool. Nice work deck, nice work. Cheers. Boy, it is warm out here today. Sun is relentless. 
shout out to the boys over at Onyx that hooked me up with uh, this thing to keep my sun, my neck out of the sun. So there's also an indoor pavilion style area where there's other vendors as well. But uh, there's just, there seems to be like just everything for everybody here. Something for everybody, as I say. Um, the list of vendors that's at this show is nuts. There's like, there's like 400 vendors here. Endless walking around. We've been walking around all day and we haven't even seen them all. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to stay out of the, the sun because it's pretty wild here. And apparently this is nothing compared to last year. Last year was crazy hot. If you, uh, if you were here at last year's event, put in the comments what temperature it was. Because we've only heard rumors. Day two of the Overland Expo was a lot cooler than day one. As you can see, it's overcast out, um, which is a really nice change because day one was super, super hot. Uh, but we did still have a great time walking around seeing all the vendors. Day two, we just continue uh, looking at the vendors that we haven't seen for the previous day and hanging out with friends. There's no way this would fly in Canada. That's amazing. Thank you. got a house in it. You're a creator now. Yeah. You gotta go take videos of like people's cars you, you, and like... You can go film the girl over at Nitto and be like, hi, I'm a, I'm a content creator now. <laughs> the next couple of minutes of footage was taken by Theo. He is Teddy from Unwinding Roads, his boy, uh, so please enjoy. How's it going, you guys? We are at the Overland Expo. I've got my good friend Theo, he's helping me film. What up? We are walking along some aisles here and we're checking out all the booths. You'll come with us. So tell us what we got going on here. What do we have going on here? Well, it's Mule Expedition Outfitters and we build a bunch of vehicles, off road stuff. Gear, recovery, all that. Are you having fun? Yeah, you're having fun. Good. See, I'm gonna interview you now. There we go. There you are. Once again, we're out here. My boy Theo is filming me, and uh, yeah, we're having a great time. Overland Expo. The weather is nice. It's all overcast today. Not like yesterday. Yesterday was far too hot. What was your favorite part? My favorite part of the Overland Expo so far has been the food. There's tons of food here. Um, food trucks, whatever you want to eat. It's here. Try the corn dogs. Did you have a corn dog yet? Yes. My first corn dog was really, really good. So if you haven't had a corn dog, get the corn dog. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hey Theo, what do you think about this thing? I'm gonna take a nap. You're gonna take a nap. Yeah. 
Okay, you guys heard it here first. These are good enough to take naps in. On the morning of the third day, we did decide to cut things short and start heading home. Our overall experience of the Overland Expo was absolutely awesome. We had a great time. The camping situation is less than ideal, especially for premium camping packages. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, but overall the experience was absolutely awesome. Highly recommend it. If you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you don't miss out on future content. Thanks so much guys. See you on the next one.